Today, let's talk about the top LEGO sets for gamers. What's up LEGO fans and welcome to my channel Pete's Bricks, the LEGO channel for the common LEGO fan. In today's video, I'm picking my top four LEGO sets for fans of video games or gamers as people call them now. I guess I'm pressing five and it's slipped. These are four Lego sets based off of different video game properties that I think would appeal to fans of games the most. As you might know, video games have become a huge source of inspiration for the Lego group as of late, spawning unique Lego sets as well as entire Lego themes based around different iconic video game franchises. Today we have themes like Minecraft, Super Mario, and even Lego Sonic, which is set to release August 1st, 2023. The LEGO group has made sure that there are plenty of LEGO video game based sets for LEGO fans of all experience levels and all ages. From the newly released 18 plus Pac-Man arcade to the more play based and fully interactive Dry Bowser Castle Battle from Super Mario, there are plenty of great options for fans of both LEGO and video games to choose from. In today's video, I'm going to pick my top four LEGO game sets that I think would appeal to gamers the most. These could be great gift ideas or just sets to add into your own personal collection. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first LEGO game set. This is set 10323 Pac-Man Arcade. So Pac-Man Arcade is one of the latest of the LEGO groups video game based sets that are more aimed specifically at adults. This is a 18 plus Lego set and it includes 2,651 Lego pieces. I think the most interesting feature of this entire set is the ability for the Pac-Man and the ghosts to move about in the center. They move in a certain track so each little piece is attached to a conveyor belt that you turn a crank on the side or I suppose you could attach some Lego power functions and motorized the whole thing so that they can move on a constant loop. That's probably the most interesting part of this entire set and I think it is just super super cool. This set does follow other popular retro arcade Lego sets like the Atari 2600 and the Nintendo Entertainment System. Though I do think this is the most impressive of the three as it stands at 58.2 centimeters tall and it features just a much more brighter and energetic color scheme. Personally, the LEGO Atari and the NES, specifically the Atari, just don't appeal to me at all. I'm not the biggest gamer, I'm not the biggest retro arcade fan, so for somebody like me when I look at the Atari, I just see a big brown rectangle. I don't have the nostalgia associated with growing up with games like that because I wasn't exactly around. I'm happy LEGO made these sets for the people who really can appreciate sets like those, but for me they, they just really seem very boring. And if I were to get one of these retro game sets, Pac-Man would be the one that I would purchase. As I briefly mentioned, Lego Sonic the Hedgehog sets are coming very, very soon. I think all these sets are pretty cool. They're bright, colorful, definitely more play-based as opposed to those retro arcade sets we just took a look at a few moments ago. Because of that, I just kind of like all the Sonic sets better. Um, you get all sorts of different minifigures with unique molds. I especially like the Dr. Eggman figure, which is why there is one set of all of these that I'm going to recommend the most. That is set 76993 Sonic versus Dr. Eggman's Death Egg Robot. Of the five brand new Sonic sets, if I were going to get any of them, it would probably be this one. You get Sonic, the main character, and while you don't get Tails and the other pink one, who I forgot her name for some reason, but while you don't get those side characters, you get the main villain, Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman either comes in this or the most expensive set, which is over $100. If you do get the most expensive set, you do get some more stuff, but if I were to just get one set, I I do recommend getting this one. I think this set is great for those who just want a taste of the theme, who don't plan on collecting all the sets. And if you do plan on purchasing all the sets, I still think this set is a must have for your LEGO Sonic collection. The next LEGO set for gamers I will recommend is set 71360 Adventures with Mario. 
While this set is pretty old at this point, it is still available now, mainly because this is the only LEGO Mario set that includes LEGO Mario himself. If you've been following the LEGO Super Mario theme, you know that all the sets are kind of interactive and that the Mario character is digital in that he interacts with all the sets. He has a thing on the bottom that scans different codes. He makes sounds and he's essential in being able to really play with your Mario sets. So it makes sense that this set is still available after having been available for so many years. I do think the Super Mario sets are more aimed towards younger fans, and that's perfectly okay. Adventures with Mario contains the essentials. You get various platforms, a Goomba, Bowser Jr., and the quintessential electronic Lego Mario figure. The Super Mario theme, though some adults kind of criticize it, although it's it's not for adults like us, it's for kids. Um, it's still going strong. They're coming with brand new sets. I know they're going to introduce the character of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong and all the Kong uh, affiliated people in some brand new sets. So if you haven't been keeping up with Lego Mario, but some of the new sets interest you, you will have to go back and get Adventures with Mario if you want the proper Mario figure to be able to properly play and interact with the brand new sets. Finally, the last set I'm going to recommend is from Lego Minecraft. That is set 21249, the Crafting Box 4.0. Of course, it's called 4.0 because there have been three other ones before that. In my opinion, the Crafting Box is essentially, well, an essential Lego Minecraft set. But first, let's take a look at some older Minecraft sets. The Lego Minecraft theme, as Lego fans know it today, began back in 2014 with the first ever Lego Minecraft minifigures. Before then, we did get a few Minecraft sets. Those were from Lego Ideas. Well, actually, even before Lego Ideas was called Lego Ideas, we got the first Lego Minecraft set. It was micro scale. It was pretty big deal at the time just because it was Lego Minecraft. But as I mentioned in 2014 is when we really got the first sets of the modern Minecraft theme. Lego Minecraft consistently receives new waves of Lego sets every year, and they're always very fresh and interesting. But what makes the crafting box stand out is its simplicity. All the basics that a Minecraft fan would expect from a Lego Minecraft set are included. You get minifigures of Steve, Alex, a classic creeper, and a zombie. Because of that, I think the crafting box of all the Minecraft sets really embodies the theme of Minecraft, especially since it gives you the option to build it in different ways. It's really more meant to be a box of bricks and Minecraft related builds than a set. You can really just have fun, get creative, and just build what you want with the parts they give you. Which to me really takes the spirit of Minecraft and Lego and just combines them in a fun set for Lego and Minecraft fans. Just like the entire LEGO Sonic theme, this set is set to release with the other new Minecraft sets August 1st. However, if you're watching this video, that means they come out in just a few days, or maybe you're watching this and they're already out by now. So that means odds are you'll be able to get all the sets that I just mentioned from the LEGO store either right now or in just a few days. Before we close out this video, I do know that I heard some rumors that Epic Games and LEGO are going to be collaborating somehow. If you're not familiar with Epic Games, they're the guys behind Fortnite. So of course people think we're getting Lego Fortnite sets. However, on my channel, I don't cover rumors. I just wanted to mention that real quickly, just to let you guys know not to get too excited yet. Just because the two companies are gonna do something together does not mean we're getting Fortnite sets. With that being said, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out a lot. Let me know down in the comments, are there any Lego game sets that I mentioned that you now might consider picking up? Are there any that you just want to pass on that really aren't for you? Are there any video game franchises that have yet to be made into Lego that you would like to see? Have a good day. Keep building. God bless. And I will see you guys in the next video on my channel, Pete's Bricks.